This edition of YouTube Suggestions is brought to you by Tommy's Ukulele Lessons. He'll teach you everything he knows in no time. Couldn't possibly take much longer. What's up, Middle Nation? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kidding. Uh, hey, everybody, welcome to another YouTube Suggestions number 16, if you are keeping score. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you not only didn't get the Middle Nation joke, but you probably don't know what YouTube Suggestions is. So take a look at a few clips from a few previously featured channels while I give a brief explanation. On YouTube Suggestions, we take a look at five small channels on YouTube. I give a quick rundown of what you can expect to see on their channel and maybe tell you a little about the people that run it. If you see a channel you aren't familiar with, there are links in the upper right hand corner as well as in the description. All I ask is that you take a closer look, and if you like what you see and decide to stay for a while, let them know where you heard about them, and also let me know that you win. I always like to know if I'm doing anybody any good. Now for our purposes here, a small channel is considered anything under 25,000 subscribers. I do want to mention that I am subscribed to all the channels I present here. Uh, the channel owners are not necessarily subscribed to a view from the middle, even though many of them are. I do feel the need to point out, these are not shout-outs. What? No way. I, I don't know if we're allowed to do shout-outs on YouTube or not anymore. Some of YouTube's rules I've just given up on trying to decipher. But with YouTube suggestions, even though we don't critique here, uh, I call them reviews. We don't get into anything negative. We keep it all positive. It's just a small way of shedding a little more light on channels that I think have good content. And they are channels I enjoy. So I hope to pass them along to others that might enjoy them as well. Uh, now that the so-called legalities are out of the way, it's time to stop monkeying around and get to the featured channels. Allison describes her channel in the most simple way. I just like to explore. There's no better reason to have an exploring channel. Allison started her channel a little over a year ago, mostly concentrating on cemeteries in her home state of Utah, though she did venture into Colorado a bit as well. Uh, she has expanded over the last year to include abandoned houses and other abandoned buildings. She even took viewers on a haunted hotel ghost tour in one video. Sometimes she just lets everyone see some of the scenery in her part of the world, which is always great for anybody that might never make it to Utah. Allison's exploration has grown to 264 subscribers as I'm making this. She usually uploads once or twice a week, so she has a decent archive from the last year to go through. She had a video called Simply Abandoned Building that uh, was really good about a month ago, so I'd recommend starting with that one. Also, Old Abandoned Cafe was nice. She's also dipped her toe into some ghost hunting, so it'll be nice to see if she does more of that. If you're into exploration or abandoned buildings, go give her a look and see what you think. Well, we can't talk about exploration videos for very long without talking about Ray Ray the Explorer. After familiar with Ray Ray, uh, he changed his channel name not, not long ago, in fact, uh, to East Tennessee Explorer. If you are not familiar with him, uh, Ray Ray and his wife Amy center mostly on abandoned and hunted locations in East Tennessee. They also do some great videos on historical sites and roadside attractions in their area. Uh, they'll also pop up with a live stream from time to time if you want to get in and get to know them a little bit better. Uh, the channel started out about two and a half years ago and has over 2,700 subscribers as I make this. Uh, there's a great archive to go through, and uh, picking a favorite is almost impossible. Uh, of the more recent videos, uh, Archie Campbell's Home Place Hee Haw Legend was a really fun video that I enjoyed, uh, so you might check that out. Or just go through the archives and check out some of the collaboration videos over the last 30 months or so. Uh, Ray Ray and Amy have done a bunch of collaborations. Uh, it's a great channel with a lot of great content, so go check them out.
Colorado Martini is based in Nevada. No, I'm kidding. Uh, obviously, it's based in Colorado, and they look at having a, a YouTube channel the same way I do. If you put your TV on NBC, you aren't going to get just one kind of show. So, it's nice when a YouTube channel does the same thing. You know, offer a little variety. And they definitely have some great variety. Uh, the channel lives up to its name, and they partake of a martini from time to time. Uh, but they also have some great travel videos, uh, videos on growing their own food, cooking videos. Uh, they've even dabbled in some paranormal stuff of late as well. Uh, Colorado Martini has, has been around about three years, and they have just over 2,600 subscribers as I make this. Uh, they have so many good videos, it's tough to narrow down a favorite, but check out uh, Scared at a Galveston, Texas Hotel. I thought that was really interesting. Uh, if that's not your cup of tea or glass of martini, as it were, uh, take a look at the 1940s ball, live, laugh, and love with your significant other. Uh, that's where they go to a party where everyone is dressed in 1940s clothes. It's a really fun video. Uh, whatever you might be looking for, there's a pretty good chance you're going to find it. As I've said many times, uh, one of the great things about YouTube is getting to see different parts of the world from a local's perspective. Uh, one country I would love to visit is Greece, and it's not likely I'll ever get there, but thanks to Greek Orthodox Vlogger, I kind of feel like I've been there already. Uh, you get a great look at some of the beautiful historical sites in the country that is rich in history. Uh, some of the churches and other holy places are incredible to see up close. And sometimes you can just kick back and relax for a bit and enjoy the natural scenery. Greek Orthodox Blogger has been around just over six years and has almost 3,000 subscribers as I make this. Now, I do want to point out, if you don't speak Greek, you will have to read some subtitles. Uh, but it's the views you get that are great in any language. I can't really give any video title names either because that's all in Greek too, but... <laughs> Uh, with all the historical sites you would expect to see in, in Greece and as well as some hidden gems you wouldn't, uh, plus a huge archive over six years, it's pretty easy to find something interesting. Uh, so go take a trip to Greece and you don't even have to pack a bag. Unless I've just gone loopy, uh, this is another channel that has had a slight name change. Either the Rockhound and Redmond Paranormal Rockhound is new or I just hadn't been paying attention. But whatever the name, you get a good dose of some dark and mysterious places uh, from Redmond. Usually with a small crew, they check out haunted locations and abandoned buildings to see what kind of paranormal activity they can find. Uh, armed with a spirit box, they have captured some really interesting responses, uh, sometimes in places that, that don't have much of a haunted reputation. The channel has been around about five and a half years, so there is a good archive to check out. Of the more recent videos, I really liked uh, The Outsiders Exploration EVP's Ghosts. Uh, that was a really cool video. They went to the drive-in that was part of what inspired the book The Outsiders. Uh, also check out Haunted Tattoo Shop. Uh, they caught something really interesting on video in that one. If you like ghost hunting and the paranormal and want to take a walk on the darker side of that, lots of good stuff here. Go check them out and uh, see what you think. Alright, those are the five featured channels this time around. Links to all these channels are in the description. You can also click the icon in the upper right hand corner and get to any channel at any time. Uh, before we close things out, I present what I call the sixth channel, uh, which I'm actually thinking about doing away with and, and making it all about channels under 25,000 subscribers. Uh, partly because I'm, I'm starting to run out of bigger channels. I just don't watch that many big channels anymore. Uh, but there are still a couple I want to mention before I change anything. Uh, not by design, but this time around happen to be heavy on the exploring channels. So what better to have as a sixth channel than Exploration Unknown? Hosted by John, Exploration Unknown was a small channel itself not really that long ago. 
Uh, it's only been around about three years, but it's really exploded in about the last year or so, I guess, and it's sitting just over 95,000 subscribers as I make this. You'll mostly see abandoned and haunted locations on Exploration Unknown, but John is not opposed to doing something a little different, like going to the Star Wars Museum or the National Video Game Museum. And this is another channel that has done a ton of great collaborations. Uh, John also farts in his live streams. Okay, he only did that once, but it was really funny. So, so if you haven't, uh, haven't already, go give Exploration Unknown a look. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this one and found some channels you weren't aware of. Uh, again, links are in the description, and if you aren't subscribed here yet, you can do so by clicking the red button on the front page, or the double arrow one-way sign, and the bottom right-hand corner. Just because I'm feeling generous, I'm going to make it absolutely free. The only charge will be a like on this video. Yeah, it does help. Well, thanks for watching. Danny and Shayna, take us out, and... Uh, Put on some pig masks when you do it. That's a wrap. That's a wrap.